Hi, I'm Haley with American Implement, and today we will be talking about Auto Track Turn Automation, also known as ATTA. It is a combination of iTech and Auto Track features and technology built together. It is an automation of setting your field speed and turning speed when you enter into a headland. It will lift and lower your implement as well as with section control, you will be able to have the perfect turn each time. Next, we will have Mason head up inside the cab and show us how to operate and explain the different hardware needed. Uh, I'm Mason Brenner with American Implement and I'm gonna be showing you how to set up ATTA and demo it. So first you're gonna need either a 4600 with display, command arm display with a V2 processor or a 4640 universal display, either one with an automation 4.0 subscription or activation. And then you're also going to need a, either a Starfire 6000 or a Starfire 3000 receiver. And you want to ensure that your tractor is a 30 series or higher for this to operate. And on to the setup. You'll need to have your client farm field set up correctly in your display and you'll need some accurate field boundaries for this to work. Uh, you'll also need a proper guidance line which is either straight track, auto path, or AB curves. Let's go into the display. So first you're going to need to turn on iTech and you're also going to want to turn on ATTA and to put these on the shortcut bar we're going to go to Menu, Applications, Layout Manager, Shortcut Bars. We're going to click on the pencil. And then we already have this on the shortcut bar, but to delete it, you'd click on that and click Remove. And then to put it back, we'll go to there, Applications and ATTA. So now that we got both of those on our shortcut bar, we're going to go through and we're going to set everything up. So when we click turn automation on, it'll give us this not ready symbol. And then we're going to go ahead and click on that and it'll give us a checklist on what we'll need to complete for ATTA to, to work. So first we're going to need to set an enter headland trigger. So we'll add a sequence. Then we'll add a step. And we're going to be turning front wheel drive off going into the turn to make an easier turn and we're going to set that five feet before the turn so we'll do negative five which will do it before and we'll add a step we'll also turn the diff lock off to make an easier turn we'll do that right at the turn and we're also the port we're going to raise the rear hitch to get the implement out of the ground about five foot before the turn and we're going to call this enter headland save we're also going to need to add an exit headland trigger so we'll add new sequence add a step we're going to be turning the front wheel drive back on five feet after we exit the turn we're going to turn on diff lock right as we complete the turn and we're going to turn or lower our rear hitch five feet after the turn. We'll click next and we'll say exit headland I spelled that wrong but and then we'll also need to set our maximum turn speed and our maximum infield speed. So to do that we'll click on this menu over here to the left. So here's our max turn speed and we're going to want to set that to about 4 miles an hour. And we're also going to set the max infield speed to about 6 miles an hour. And then once our status light's green we're good to try it out. And we'll also want to ensure that our auto track is all the way enabled. So I'll go ahead and shift it into gear, click the resume button, 
and it should go. So while we're waiting, we'll look at the different options that we have within ATTA. So first is our turn aggressiveness. And we can change this number to a lower value to make a, a wider turn, as you can see by the image. Or we can set it to a higher value to make it a more narrow turn. Also in our settings, we can change our turn type. Either a straight U-turn, or a U-turn, a straight through, or a figure eight. Our U-turn is a typical turn that we'd be doing here. A straight through will just drive the tractor straight through the, the boundary, but it'll do our iTech sequences still. And then figure eight turn is best used whenever our guidance line will be coming at an angle to our headland boundary. And you can also change your direction of the turn. So here we can see that our tractor will be turning right. We can change that to left. Or we can also do a skip pass and change it to two to the right. And it will skip our next guidance line and go to the, the guest row after that. Now that you've heard of the benefits and seen ATTA's operation, contact your nearest American Implement dealer for a demo.